I get asked uh, quite a lot, you know, what separates a great tasting latte from one that's uh, a little bit average. The difference I find between uh, a really well-made milk-based espresso coffee and one that's not as well-made is really it's all about the mouthfeel. If you've got high quality microfoam, really tight, tiny bubbles that have a great amount of viscosity, they'll actually really coat your tongue, give you that rich, viscous experience versus bubbles that are too big. The whole consistency of the milk is, is more viscous and stiff. It's more meringue-like, it's more like sort of dry cappuccino foam. This style of coffee that, um, that I enjoy and I think probably the majority of people out there enjoy is what we call as like an integrated milk drink. It's where the microfoam or the textured milk is really well integrated or mixed with the espresso. It's not separated into layers where you may have to stir or you may have to drink a lot of milk before you hit any espresso, you know, further down that glass. So microfoam milk, what you're attempting to create is you're attempting to volumize the milk with very, very small air bubbles and at the same time, you're heating the milk using the steam as well. It creates a temperature and a textural change to the cold milk. What happens is when you introduce the milk and the espresso together, you get the espresso actually coating around the outside of every one of those little bubbles. When you drink the coffee, the coffee goes across your palate. All of those tiny bubbles start to burst on your tongue and then they sort of release that almost effervescence. It's a very rich and tactile experience. To create a really high quality microphone, you need really powerful steam. So you go into a, a cafe, they've got uh, a $20,000 La Mazzocco or Senesso or Victoria Arduino there. It's the delivery of that steam that gives you the technical platform to create great microphone. When we develop an espresso machine, one of its foundational deliverables is you need to ensure that the steam system is going to have enough power to do those two things. So it's got to be able to drive the milk past the tip of the steam wand and heat the milk as quickly as possible. But it's also a balance of some other elements as well. So the design of the steam nozzle or the tip is very important. The configuration, the number of holes, the size of the holes, the angle of those holes, it's extremely important to balance that to the overall pressure and flow that the steam system is able to deliver. One of the very important aspects of a steam system design is to make sure that you deliver really dry steam. The aim there is to deliver as little condensed water into the textured milk as possible. We're really focused on um, delivering dry steam so we don't dilute that milk taste. So you'll get the same taste experience in your own home that you'd experience if a barista was making it for you um, in a cafe. When we're designing a steam system that's going to deliver professional performance in your own home, we do it in two ways. You can either have a completely manual system and you can be the brister at home. It's um, all about you having total control over the amount of air that's being introduced to the milk. The other system that we've delivered is an automatic system. The automatic system creates professional quality results without having to know how to actually produce microphone. And you can do it hands free. So you don't need to be the brister. The machine will do it for you automatically. They all have one thing in common. They're all able to deliver really great quality microphone. And the reason that is, is because we have really powerful steam systems that are matched really well to the tip configuration. So you'll get an outcome that's equal to what you'd get in your local cafe. It's interesting um, when you look at consumer preferences these days. You go into a cafe and if the coffee doesn't come out with latte, art on the top of it, it's almost like you're worried about um, the quality of the, of the barista, how well he's been trained, what his experience level is, latte art. It's the symbol of a, like a great tasting coffee. A really well made milk based coffee is differentiated by the latte art. But you really need that fine texture that will give you that really rich silky mouthfeel. And that's the difference between good and great.